Okay, so at this stage, you've made a decision, you either got on a desktop or a, a laptop, and you want to get broadband or you want to get internet access into your home or office. So there are a number of different services out there. And we're going to take a look at some of them in more detail in, in a few minutes. So the type of services that are available, you can have broadband through phone line. So this is the more common way of getting internet into your home or office. It's fast and reliable, but it does require that you have a phone line. There are wireless options available. So if you subscribe to one of these, the operator will send you out a wireless device that you can plug into your laptop or your desktop PC. They are portable, but it, they are portable within areas where there is coverage. And that's typically when in cities and large towns that the wireless option is available. Satellite broadband is available in most locations. It does require the installation of a satellite dish, and you may also need to have a phone line. Cable broadband is normally associated with, again, cities and large towns. It's fast, and you get your internet service through the same cable where you get your TV channels. Mobile broadband is a, is a service which comes from the mobile phone operators. If you subscribe to one of these, you will get a mobile card that you can plug into your laptop or, or your desktop PC. You can have broadband on the move. And there are some community schemes out there. So those give coverage in remote areas. If you do live in a remote area, it might be worth checking with your neighbors if there is a community broadband scheme available. So let's take a look at some of the more common types of broadband connections you can have. First one here we're going to look at is broadband through the phone line, probably the most common type of internet connection out there. So to get this into your home, you need to have a phone line. And if you subscribe for the broadband services, they will, they will send, the operator will send you out what is known as a, as a router. Now sometimes referred to as a, as a DSL router, an internet router. DSL stands for Digital Subscriber Line. The computer within your home or office, it must be located somewhere near where the phone line comes in. So if you're going to go get broadband, just take a look at where you have your computer or your, or your laptop located and just make sure that, you, that there is a phone line that's easy to access from, from wherever you're located. Now what you can also have with the broadband through phone line is you can have a wireless router as it's called. So if you install that into your home, it allows you to access the internet anywhere within your, within your house or office. Now you do require to have a wireless card within your laptop or your PC. Most laptops come with that installed. So if you want to use wireless on your PC, you may have to buy a wireless card. Also with broadband through phone, phone line, it allows you to have multiple computers sharing the same connection. So this is ideal in an office environment, and it can be also useful in the home if you've got more than one computer. If you do go for this type of service, as mentioned, you, the, the operator will send you out a, a broadband router. And the back of it will look something like this. There are a number of connections you need. Obviously, I'm going to start here from right to left. You need the power. The blue cable there is the connection that will go to your computer. In this particular on this model here, there's four connections, so you have the option of four different computers to be plugged in. Some of these routers will only allow you to have one computer plugged in. And the green wire on the left is the phone line connection. So that's when I mentioned earlier that when you go for this type of broadband connection, you must place this unit somewhere close to where the phone line is. So broadband via wireless. So just before you consider this option, it's just worth checking if you've got coverage in your area. So it might be worth checking with your neighbors if they have this type of service already. It's so typically in large towns and cities this service is available. If you subscribe to it, the operator will send you out a wireless access unit. That can be installed beside your computer. Now just something to watch. Even if they say there's coverage in your area, depending on the materials used within your home or your office, it's worth checking to see 
and you can do this by maybe borrowing a unit from somebody all, that already has one, is that wherever your computer is located, just plug in a unit there just to make sure that you have coverage in that particular area because walls of houses and offices can block the signal, so just check that before you actually sign up for the service. Now in most cases as well, it's connected to a single PC. So if, you want, if you've got more than one computer, you might want to check from the, by asking the operator if their units support more than one computer connection. When you get this, when you install this service, as mentioned, they'll either send you out a little wireless unit or they'll install, which I've shown here in the, to the, the top right of the house, a wireless uh, pickup point, and that will collect the signal from the operator that is wired through to wherever your computer is located and then you can connect to the internet. If you go for broadband via satellite, something you need to just watch here is that it can be very expensive install because there, there is a lot of equipment involved. Now you may also need a phone line, so you, it's not just the satellite you need, you may also need to have a phone line available. In most cases again it's connected to a single PC, so the install of this You'll end up with a satellite dish connected to somewhere near your, your home or office. And that will pick up, that will connect in then to your computer. It's usually wired into wherever your computer is located. And that will then pick up a signal from satellites to, and that will enable you to access the internet. If you go for broadband for your, for your mobile wireless, if you look here on the screen to the, to the right, the mobile operator will send you out a, a little wireless device. Now that can be plugged into either a laptop or it can also be plugged into a PC. You don't need any other hardware or cables, it's, it's, it's self-contained. But just something to watch on this is just make sure you have coverage. And with any wireless service like this, it's not just the coverage within your area, it's coverage within your home or office. And again, it depends on the material that your home or office is built from it could bl block the signal or make the signal strength weak. So if at all possible, if you're gonna look at this option, if you could at all borrow one of these units from somebody you know, and just make sure you've got the, the access where your computer's located. Now, as you can see from my, the little diagram of the laptop towards on the right-hand side, it is connected to a single PC. So if you've got a, 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 an office environment or maybe you've got multiple computers at home, this will only connect to a single computer, but it's, it's ideal if you're on the road, you can access the internet when you're out and about.